Hey friends, welcome to Project Homestead. Today's video is going to be a little bit impromptu because I've been spending the whole entire day cleaning. I'm doing a really deep clean video. And so I wasn't thinking for a minute that I needed to get a video, like a kitchen kind of related video for Monday, which is today for you guys. <coughs> so we're gonna do a really impromptu thing. We're gonna do freezer soup because I don't know what to make and I need a milk. So we're gonna dig in the freezer and find something to make. Find something to create. I'm also going to be putting on another recipe video that Carrie uh, shared with me. She uh, wanted, to, she really wanted to share this recipe and I was gonna do it as a, a, a YouTube short because it's not that long and it's not like a super complicated recipe. But I think I'm going to just tack it on to this video to give you a little bit more entertainment and we'll just go from there so what is this this is like a barbecue chicken this is like a barbecue chicken situation i think i might put that in there some quinoa maybe No idea what this is. It might end up in the soup. I actually already need to clean out the deep freezers and organize them again. It's just a constant, you know, thing. You gotta keep, you gotta keep redoing the same things over and over again. I've already got some broth out, but I've got this zucchini juice. So we're gonna use that. It's Mother's Day today, and I'm going to dinner at my mother-in-law's house. I need to hurry and make the soup so I can try it before we go. We got onions. What else do we got? What else do we got? We got some leeks and broccoli, it looks like. It says veg for beef and broccoli. Hmm, we got some rhubarb. That's not gonna go very well. I think we'll just go with this. Let's go to frost stuff and throw it in the crock pot and pretend like it's gonna be a yummy soup. And it very well may be a yummy soup and it very well may be a, what the hell is this soup? <laughs> you never know until you, until you try, so. Stick that down there. Stick this down there. <laughs> Stick this down there. And I've got quinoa. Oh wait, actually, cannot forget our zucchini juice because no soup is complete without zucchini juice. All right, let's get to this. It's got a very tight seal on it.
Oh. That had the most epic seal on it ever. I've been wanting to try out canning with these jars, but I was always like, will they seal? I don't know. I think the answer is yes, they will. They will seal. I'm just gonna take this fat off the top. Stick that in there. Disgusting. I might stick this chicken in there as well. I think this is enchilada chicken, but I can't remember. I think that's barbecue chicken, enchilada chicken. Barbecue, enchilada. Guys, I am so, 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 so excited for my Wednesday's video. I believe that it's gonna be Wednesday's video. We have got a huge declutter that we've done and we've rearranged things, and as I'm sitting here, I'm just like, oh, it feels so good. Like I've freed up space inside of my heart. There's some more stuff I wanna do downstairs, and I'm going back and forth whether I want to add that all on to this video that I've been working on today, because it's already a really long video, or whether I wanna do a part two and add it to that. There will be a part two, because I'm gonna do the upstairs as well, but I'm not gonna do the upstairs as well on my downstairs part of the video. <clears throat> but there's more downstairs that I wanna do. So I just wanna flip the camera around and show you guys everything because I'm so happy with it. It feels so clean, it feels so organized, it feels so good. I mean, there's still like laundry on the couch. If you can see, there's laundry on the couch. But I'm gonna get that done tonight. I'm talking about everything else and I know I'm being very, I'm just excited and I'm excited to show you guys in the next video. So when that video comes up, just know we did a lot. <laughs> I'm very excited. And I was working on that video so much that I didn't even think about tomorrow's video, which is today for you. So that's why we're doing freezer soup. I think it's called a butterscotch nut roll. I can't remember. It's another carry video, and it's a very simple, easy, yummy dessert. So we'll do the freezer soup and the dessert video that I already have. I recorded that weeks ago. I'll tack that onto this video to give you guys a little bit more content for your video. But guys, I'm so, 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 so excited about this video that's coming up. I love doing really big, productive videos because it means that I was just productive and that is my jam. I love to feel productive. So I will come back if there's anything else I wanna to add to that soup. I'm, I'm thinking, my mind is thinking. I don't think I'm gonna add the quinoa. I think it will, it, that would be weird. Um, so I might pop that back in the freezer. I think I'm really just gonna do the meat and the veggies. It looks like there's that much meat in this. So I think, I think I am gonna add this mystery meat. I know it's chicken. I think it's chicken. Yeah, no, it's chicken. I just don't know what kind of chicken. So, in goes the mystery meat chicken. This is called mystery crock pot soup, your lunch tomorrow for school. Are you excited? Nope. <laughs> He's like, nope, I'm not excited for your green. Mystery soup. Anyways, I definitely think this will be done before I need to go to my in-laws house. Let's try to get some of this broth up in there. 
So push this down so that it can, oops, should have pushed, I just pushed it under, submerged it. Please, I ask for your forgiveness. Yep! Okay, we're good. This might come out now. I'd say this is ready to eat and it is not ready to eat. Zucchini juice. Back in. Oh. This is either going to be really delicious or really weird. I'm going to go for delicious. I'm going to I'm going to believe in myself. It's going to be delicious. I need to go do something, do something with this hair though. Let's go get ready for dinner. I can smell the freezer soup. The freezer soup. Upstairs. I can smell it upstairs. It looks it looks all right. It looks all right. Let's stir it. Hey, that does not look so bad. I'm gonna try that. Let me just get myself a bowl of my Mother's Day freezer soup made by Ma. <laughs> my very impromptu soup. You know, it's like got a good texture. It's got a really good smell. I'm actually quite excited to try it, if I do say so myself. All right, let's try this soup. Freezer soup. That is good. Yes. You should come try my soup. He'll like it. Really? Mm-hmm. You can have some too before we go over to. Brandies and pops if you want. Let me just put it. It just needed a little bit of salt. Mmm. I want to get Hamish's. Be honest though, if you don't like it, you have to tell me. Yeah. It won't hurt my feelings. This is like blow your mind hot though. Test it with your, with your lips? Yeah. It's really good. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. I just threw some stuff together. Do you want this? Yeah. Go get your cup so you can have some. It's so good. It's got leeks and broccoli, onion. It's got some, um, you know those barbecued chicken sandwiches that I make with the, um, cap the cabbage on top? Yep. Get that away. Or eat it. Um, yeah, it's got all that in there. A very good soup, actually. Yay. These are usually the best meals when you just throw things together. You like the barbecue chicken. Just like, no, the things that you like add together for. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Remember not... that uh, other soup that you made around the time ago, the beans and the salad? We just threw stuff together. Yeah, that was good too, huh? Yeah. First you need to blow on it and 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 blow on it. And then what? Blow on it. Yeah. Before you eat it. I'll put it down for you. I actually can't just have many times you said that. It's really good though. I'm happy with this. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. I'm gonna even save some of that for my husband tomorrow. He'll like that for lunch or something. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the other part of the video, which is just uh, when I went to Carrie's house a couple weeks back, she had another recipe just on the fly that she wanted to share with you guys. Hey, friends, welcome to Project Homestead. Today we are doing another recipe with Carrie. You saw her with the pickling onions. They're actually right there. We're doing the rest of another recipe with her. What is this one called? Butterscotch nut log. So you need to buy um, either use milk chocolate this is butterscotch chocolate. So you used to, if you're in America, you probably still can get butterscotch bits. But here in Australia, we can't get them anymore. Some, sometimes you can. You can get Werther's Originals and break it up, maybe. No, no. I wouldn't get Werther's because they're not chocolate. Oh, it needs to be chocolate. Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. So for the right texture, it's got to be chocolate. Okay. But sometimes you can get butterscotch bits but I don't know why we can't always get everything. 
Yep. So instead, I'm using butterscotch chocolate, but it tastes just as good with milk chocolate. In a glass bowl, I'm going to, I layer the chocolate in squares and try not to like double it up. Mm -hmm. So you can see I'm putting it around the edge of the bowl, yep. up the side. I'm going to whiz quite a lot of these. What are now, they? These are walnuts. walnuts. Okay. And I'm going to do mixed nuts this time. So I've done some pecans as well because I actually prefer pecans. All right. But I couldn't get enough. All right. So now, in your food processor, it's got to turn on. I'll zap this in the microwave. Now I do two lots of 30 seconds just to make sure that I don't overcook the chocolate. You do two lots of 30 seconds to make sure you don't burn it? Yep. So it's all whizzed. Okay. So you're just opening the condensed milk now? Yep. Yep. You can see it's all beautiful and shiny. Mm. So that's all. It's not know. quite liquidy, but most of it is. Yeah, it will definitely melt up. I think it's good to get it out at this point so that it doesn't burn. Yeah, well, nothing worse than burnt chocolate. Yeah, and yeah. then... Okay. Now we pour a bit on here. And the rest in there, and then all of this. Nice. My mum's recipe has like measurements. Yeah. But I don't like wasting the rest of the sweet and condensed milk. Okay. Because what what sweet. else am I going to use it for? So I just usually guess. Yeah. And just add a bit more nut. And you find that it works out just as well? Yep. And now I'm just going to stir the whole thing up. With candy, with this sort of thing, you have to do it quite quickly. Yep, okay. Because it starts to get kind of thick. Yep. I'm going to chuck a handful of each back in. Are you looking for a certain consistency? Well, it has to be, because what we're going to do, because it's butterscotch nut log, we're going to roll it into a log shape. Oh. Right, so this is just about ready. And then you refrigerate it. Oh, nice. So, so I spread this, because this is going to be on the outside. And you can really use whatever nuts you like. I personally prefer pecans, but... It's going to be a mixed nut one. Yeah, this is a mixed one. I think mixed would be my second favourite. Do you like pecans too? I love pecans. They're probably my favourite nut. Pecans and hazelnuts. I love my them. mum used to make it with walnuts. Okay. And I'll leave that. You kind of spread all this over the top. And that keeps it from being sticky. Yes. Because right now it is very sticky. And then you kind of roll it around until it's kind of like the log shape. Yeah. And you just keep pressing all of this stuff in. in. Seems like it gets more and more easy to work with the more that you work with it. Yes. And then what we'll do is roll it up. And the important thing is when you refrigerate it, you refrigerate it, but you don't refrigerate it too much. Okay. Before you cut it. Okay. Oh, nice. Now we do this one. I love doing this with mum though. It was so fun. Is it nostalgic for you to do it now? 
Yeah, it's, it just makes me think of her. Oh, I love that. She was such a good mum. Yeah. That's the best thing about recipes, I think. When, some, when you lose somebody, you always have a recipe, so it's like they're with you. Yeah, totally. Right, so now we're going to roll up this one as well. Put them on the same tray in the refrigerator and then we'll cut them up a bit later. There we go. Nice. How long do you need to leave them in the refrigerator for, do you think? I reckon we'll probably leave them in there a good half hour. Yep, all right. Mm -mm. Good. Does that remind you of your mama? It's so good. You don't want a teensy bit? Yeah, I'm fasting. I'm like on hour 20 and I'm actually doing a YouTube video where I'm fasting for trying to do 42 hours. I know. No food for 42 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, if I feel like I'm gonna pass out, I'll eat something, but I'm feeling really good right now, so. I could not do that. Okay, let's have the taste tester. You wanna taste test, Macy? Yeah. What do you think, Macy? Yeah. Like really good? Like on a scale from one to 10, one being gross, 10 being the best thing ever. 10. 10? Eight. 10 million. I can't have it because I'm fasting. But I will try one tomorrow and I'll put it on the video. So you can take this home. Ooh, she's letting us take some home. Nice. So we need to store this in the refrigerator? Yes. Okay. There you have it, guys. She's licking more. She really does like them. Oh, I like that, how you do the in-between. Clever. So easy, it is really yummy. Not something I would typically make all the time because it's definitely a um, dessert. <laughs> Very sweet, but um, yummy all the same. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this soup. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. I hope that you have been absolutely spoiled by your family and that you get to eat really yummy, cozy food like this on your Mother's Day and you get to spend time with your loved ones. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video for a huge declutter, house organization, amazing video because we have been very productive today. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.